Don, you've coached in a lot of games over your career, had a lot of playoff atmosphere games. Over these last two games, these have been, you guys had a big do or die winner, basically go home. You guys have one more to go. Are you going to be looking at scoreboard watching, or are you just going to let it control out? You guys are going to go Tuesday. And it's nothing. We, we played to get our game to Tuesday to mean something. So that's all we have to be concerned about. Does it say anything that you guys now have Tuesday as an opportunity? Oh, I'm happy for them. Yeah, I'm, that's all. You know, when we were struggling a little bit there, we were just trying to stay in it when we lost our position. And I think we've gotten our structure back in our game. Uh, Urs has played very well the past couple. So I'm glad they get to play a, a meaningful game on Tuesday. To that point about getting the structure back the last two games, it was it film? Did you say anything to the team? What Both. tried to change to snap them back to where they need to be? We just. We coached them. They listened. We talked about things, showed them tape. I mean, you have the answer to it, right? If you play that badly, your last game as far as structure, we certainly have to teach. Um, but I think they, they're the ones that have to play. And uh, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. Regardless of you know, whether the other things break your way you know, with the other teams, mm -hmm. how important did you feel like it was for, for these guys to finish out the season strong and not you know, continue down the path of those other Yeah, guys? yeah, and, and, and quite honestly, out of, I'm not sure how many games we lost uh, there, but there was probably two in, at a period that we played poorly. We still developed offense, uh, couldn't finish at certain times. Uh, as far as defending, I thought we did some really good defending until those last couple of games. So I, I know the record thinks we just fell off the map, but we were playing good. Uh, we just we couldn't keep the puck out of our net, and we couldn't score. So to go through all that and then play a couple of lousy ones and rebound, it, it, it just speaks to how the room is, uh, how they've handled themselves all year long. So uh, that's what I'm happy about. We're not going to look at the scoreboard. Maybe some people do. I'm not. I'm just glad they... They showed who they are because they've been that all year long. Uh, and I think that's very important for the group. You mentioned last week uh, just about the idea of you know, playing these meaningful games and you believe that you know, guys can be taught how to, to up their level for these kind of games. Absolutely. So are you seeing guys learning kind of on the floor yes. how to do this? Yes. I I'm not going to go into breaking it down in guys, but yes. And, uh, you know, you say playoff atmosphere. This isn't even close to playoff atmosphere. That's what I want them to taste, is playoff atmosphere. These are obviously, everybody says it's our playoffs, if that's the way you want to put it. But it's nowhere near playoff atmosphere. But it's our step that we're taking to playing these type of games at the end of the year to get in. We're close. Uh, so I, I think it's a, it's a great process for us. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen. But we're just going to go out and play hard and see where we're at the end of Tuesday night. Well, he, he's done it all year long. And, uh, you know, we, we have struggled in net, right? And it's not the persons. It's the goaltending situation that I think knocked us down. Uh, I, I think we're 90-plus if, if the goaltending situation didn't happen the way it did. It caught up to us. And I'm not apologizing to anybody for playing Earth as much as I did. I'd do it again. Uh, and that's what I love about him. He... He knows. It, 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 he was battling, and uh, he just he has found something here, and that isn't a physical skill. That's a that's a mental skill, and, and every time we talk about Urs, what do I talk about? His mental toughness. So I'm thrilled for him that he's been able to uh, keep us afloat and made a couple of huge saves. Low event game, very hard for goalies. Stood in there. Um, I'm so happy for him because he. This is a great process, and that's what's that? It's fiftieth. Yeah, he's scheduled to play 18 or 20, and he's playing 50. Uh, terrific for him. He's got one more. You, you made Connect me a, a peak care when you got here. Did you ever envision him being this much of a scoring threat shorthanded when you did that? Well, he's so, he's so unpredictable. Uh, Shawzi talks about it all the time. Half the things he does, he's not supposed to do. It, but that's what keeps a power play off. And uh, I, I just think there's been, been some chemistry between him and Lots. That play could blow up on us. A backhand through the middle of the ice to Teague going down. It gets through. 
If it doesn't, it could be in the back of our net. But you know, Shawzi runs it that way. He wants him to go for it. Uh, they've had a connection with this all year long. Uh, uh, you know, and, and TK's a guy that, went, you know, there were some struggles with him prior to these couple of games. He's played so well to give us a chance here. And, you know, that's one guy we talk about learning to play in these games. He certainly has taken a huge step in trying to help us stay alive. Is that just part of the maturation process that you see him go through, I guess, the two years you've been here, where you've said before he's kind of all over the place sometimes, but he scores the big goal the other night against the Rangers. He scores tonight. Is that where he sort of matured in his game, not the physical, but the mental approach? Yeah, I, I, I think he... I think he's very cognizant that he's the leader of this team. And uh, I, I don't want him to be predictable. I don't want him to lose his craziness as a player. That's a huge part of who he is, and that's why he's so effective. It's just making sure he doesn't go completely off the map where we can't see him with some of the stuff. And, and I, I think that's where I watch him in a third period. He holds on to pucks. Uh, just slows it down, then chips it out, a flipper. Uh, I watched him the other night uh, break up a couple plays in the slot right before the guy's ready to shoot it. He breaks up a couple of plays there. Those are things he weren't doing as when I started coaching early on. So he knows we're trying to defend first here. I, I think he's shown us that he can do that. I think he's shown himself he can do that. Uh, so it's an important part of the, the process and the maturity for him. Thanks.